What do you want to see in terms of education? This is one of your priorities at the foundation. Uh, your thoughts on Betsy DeVos? What, what can she do in terms of an impact on education? With education, the, uh, there are a lot of promising approaches. Uh, uh, some of the charter schools are very good. Uh, the quality level there also needs to be raised. Uh, a lot of these policies are at the state level, and so the federal government does provide some of the funding and, and it can back uh, innovative models. But where we're sitting down with states and districts and individual schools and piloting, you know, how do we get teachers better feedback? Does, does the software have any role to help that teacher be more efficient or help the student engage with the things they're struggling with? A lot of it's going to be school by school and where the pilots go very well then uh, you know, that's where you get a, a chance to a very big scale up. I want to get your take on really what's going on today with all of these new smaller companies uh, and, and, and in the face of the issues that we see from terrorism. I mean, you know, just, just this week we're talking about uh, suicide right there live on, on Facebook. Do you think that these companies have a responsibility to police things like this online, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or any other company that you could mention? What's happening today is unprecedented. With Facebook, uh, yes, a lot of people are getting their news there. And so any of the challenges news organizations have always had about getting a diversity of voices and making sure things are very well checked before they appear. Uh, you know, those dilemmas are coming to those those companies, and there's this great open debate about are they managing that well, and it, does that mean overall that, that we say fragmentation, and what does that do to uh, a sense of common purpose? Um, you know, I do think that, you know, whatever the challenge has been, that uh, those are all solvable. The fact that anybody can publish and you can find information in a way, you know, those should in a sense, uh, make the citizen more informed, uh, you know, which is good for democracy. So, so should there be more policing? I mean, we were having this debate the other day about, you know, breaking open a, a, an iPhone, right, with the San Bernardino uh, killers. Uh, should, should companies have a responsibility to help law enforcement when it comes to life and death? Well, the, there's always been rules about... Uh, the tax authorities can look at bank accounts or people are, are trying to find out you know, what's going on with money laundering, money moving around. And so the government has had a right to get some visibility. How you make sure that's being used only when it needs to be used and yet not have the government be blind just because in these digital tools, the ability to uh, cover that up gets to be a bit easier. That's a debate that, that's just beginning to be framed. Um, you know, how do you have that right balance? I think it's very possible, certainly in the area when it was a classic telephone, uh, we managed to come up with some good rules. And, you know, here, the idea that you can see things that are going on, sometimes that actually lets you catch problems in, a, in advance. We talk a lot about jobs in the face of Donald Trump's plans to bring jobs back to America, and he's complained about jobs leaving and going to cheaper places like a Mexico, like a China. And yet when you look at automation, that's also uh, really one of the issues in terms of, uh, you know, replacing jobs. Does it go back to the skill sets that we need? How do you, I mean, how significant is that in terms of technology and automation replace, replacing humans, which of course we've been talking about now for many years, and what's the solution? Well, the, the fact that we can make more goods with less resources overall uh, creates the opportunity to take that labor and say, how are we helping kids with special needs? Are we helping older people? Are we uh, reaching out uh, to, to those in need? And so the fact that labor gets freed up and we're still making all these goods, that's a wonderful opportunity to to solve problems that we haven't very special thanks to microsoft co-founder bill gates joining us this morning